Daniel Kerr's search for redemption has shone a light on one of WA's most disadvantaged communities. Laverton is more than 900 kilometres from Perth, but it may as well be a world away. Many locals struggle with poverty, addiction and isolation. Laverton used to be a bustling gold mining town. Now, only 300 people live here. On the edge of the Great Victoria Desert, in WA's remote Red Centre. Desolate and derelict, it has an iconic local pub and not much else. Just a few shops and essential services. The town's appearance reflects a decaying community, racked with alcohol abuse, drugs and petrol sniffing. There's a, a lack of hope and direction for the young people in, in communities like Laverton. Youth violence was out of control and walking the streets at night wasn't safe. <laughs> But now football is giving these local kids a fighting chance, teaching them discipline and a healthy lifestyle. Last weekend there was a Goldfields rivalry to match Frio and West Coast. Laverton versus Leonora. If we keep providing um, activities for the community, um, I think we've got a real chance of you know, keeping the kids you know, not in boredom and, and getting into crime and that. Look at me, everybody. Former Look at me. Eagle Daniel Kerr has teamed up with Charity Indigenous Services Australia to try to help these kids while searching for his own redemption. The abuse of alcohol in the Aboriginal community is, uh, is, the, is the thing I want to concentrate on, um, is the thing that uh, I think I can help with and um, I think with me helping with that I think they can really help me as well. But only a kilometre away, this is where so many of the traditional owners live, amongst the burnt out cars and barbed wire fences. While these streets are basically empty, residents felt uncomfortable talking on camera about what they describe as the biggest issue Laverton is facing. It's the sniffing of paint, which they say together with alcohol is a very toxic combination. And the fear is if meth gets into these communities, it will be devastating. That is the one drug that can brainwash you. It, it it brainwashes you into a, a mindset of negativity. It, you know, you be around people that are hearing voices. It's, it is as big a risk to society as anything out there. Oliver Peterson, Nine News.